News like that has inspired a woman here in Florida to create a quilt. It displays all the books that were either targeted or, at this point, banned. The 100-year-old brought her work to a Martin County School Board meeting to share her opposition of censoring the school library. Fox 35's Danielle Seat had to speak with her one-on-one -on -one today. I am the reason you are here. Testimony after testimony, a heated Martin County School Board meeting ran for hours last night as residents spoke in favor of and in opposition of the recent banning of books in schools. There's no educational value acquired from a library full of erotica. Parents have the right to guide their children's reading, but not the right to guide other children. One of the residents taking the podium. I am a hundred years young. Grace Lynn. I care about this community and our country. Bringing with her a labor of love in the form of a quilt. On it, books that she says have either been targeted or banned. When I show this to adult women, They'll say, oh no, they didn't do that to the color purple. I sat down with her today. My first husband was killed in action in World War II. He died for freedom. Freedom is so important. Grace's wisdom dates past some of the history books. I was born the year after women got the right to vote. But because she won't be around forever, she's making it her mission to ensure lessons learned in the past won't be forgotten. One of the freedoms that the Nazis crushed was the freedom to read the books that they banned. History will repeat itself if you don't know history. Her fear is that as books are taken off of the shelves, the life lessons they possess are taken along with them. Banned books and burning books are the same. Both are done for the same reason, fear of knowledge. Reporting in Martin County, I'm Danielle Seat, WPTV News Channel 5.